What happens by reflex, by programming, is when we contact a non-dual space, is that we make a new duality between the world of duality or the mind and illusion and the source. This is also a split. Yeah? And that can, and, and when you say uh, time and space, and a lot of people say this, is just a construct of the mind, uh, that's coming from that split. It's like an aversion, okay, time, space, you know, so just put it away. And then Bart said that the time space is, the mind is constructed by time space itself. So we still have time space as, as basically the uh, fabric of uh, creation. When a black hole uh, collides with another black hole, it creates a wave through the fabric of time space, a gravity wave. That's where physics, is, astrophysics is now. They heard the first gravity wave. So these basic fundamental forces are what we're made of. And they're not separate from that source. And I'll, in a really simple way, show that. You know, time cannot exist at all without eternity. So eternity is a non-dual aspect, the timeless. And it's timeless doesn't mean the absence of time. Well, it does in a way, because we say timeless, Eckhart Tolle would say timeless because we move out of time and that's a kind of dualistic way to move back to eternity. But eternity itself is like unrestricted, unconditional time. So what is time? It doesn't matter. But maybe part of what we're here for is the, to witness bits, the emanation of time out of the eternal. And the same goes with space. You know, any package of space, any form, any room is a function of infinity. Its entire existence is dependent on its source, which is infinity. No infinity, no local space. No my space, no your space, no, no none of the, uh, the game can play without infinity. So it's utterly, by its very nature, what we can say about time and space is that time is dependent on eternity. Space is utterly dependent on infinity. Which means that in every moment there is eternity. In every particle there is infinity. It's not separate. So it's never out of our reach. <coughs> That's why with non-dual therapy, especially because it's, it's really working with manifestation, with life forms, with, with contractions. The, the non-dual source is exactly here, this, now, whatever is presenting. It's not out there in Mecca or it's exactly whatever is here now. And this is why it's so important not to grasp it or push it away, which is another kind of grasping, actually. It's giving it real independent, separate reality. It's whatever feeling or emotion or thought is here now is this. It's only this. And when we don't grasp and don't push away, it can be this. And it can move or not. So in the this is the that, to put it like that. And in that is, of course, this.